this past Friday, news hit like a bombshell that Alex Jones and other dangerous voices were banned from Facebook and Instagram, as Facebook owns Instagram. And the, uh, the, the article reads, Facebook announced Thursday that it had designated some high-profile people, including right-wing conspiracy theorist Alex Jones, as dangerous and said it will be purging them from its platforms. Jones and his media outlet Infowars had previously been banned from Facebook in August 2018, but had maintained a presence on Instagram, which is owned by Facebook. I, I regret that Alex doesn't have that platform. I mean, I, not everything that Alex did was bad or awful. I don't, you know, I don't agree with the Sandy Hook thing and I don't agree with Pizzagate. I don't, I don't. But I don't disagree with everything. And I, 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 I regret that Alex doesn't have a platform anymore. I, you know, I tell you what, if Alex is able to put, Alex and some others are able to get together and put together a competing platform, I'll join it. You know, because we have a similar audience. Uh, some of the people that listen to me listen to Alex. And, you know, because we have a similar audience, we could, you know, kind of stream together. And I, I think we just need to put face, people need to put Facebook on notice. We're not going to have you just dumping people and let you let the, you let the, you let the New York Times, you let the Wall Street Journal. Listen, I mean, long as it stays within the guidelines of the, what the LGBT has set up as a standard. The LGBT has set up a standard against the Bible and you can't speak the Bible. No, I'm, I'm, you know, I think that we need to take a closer look at this. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, first of all, I, I want to say a word for, for Alex Jones. He's been off, he's banned on Facebook and now banned on Instagram. And um, I, I don't agree with everything that Alex says or does. I don't. I think he's made some missteps and misstatements. I was going to talk to Alex at one time about, you know, submitting himself and let me be his pastor and a spiritual counselor. But I maybe I should have done it rather than backing away. I didn't want to seem pretentious and by talking to Alex that he needed me as his pastor, Alex Jones. But I do want to pray for him. I, um, I know he spent his life in journalism and I, and I, and I don't agree with everything he says and but some of the things that he's done, I have done. And uh, I want to pray that his people will still support him. I want to pray that his people will find a way. If he has to stream himself out of Uganda, which is possible, there's a place in Uganda where Alex can set up a web hosting service and stream out of Uganda. And I pray that the people will follow him. Don't, they won't be hard-headed and just leave Alex swinging in the wind. I want to pray for him. And I pray that uh, he'll be able to continue the, his broadcasting. And I want to say a word as well, Lord Jesus, and just a word of thank you for, uh, for your loving kindness towards us. The, uh, how you have showered your blessing down on us. How you've given us the best days of our life here at the Outlaw World Missionary Church. And though a lot of people have gone because they are Either it wouldn't LGB church. Broke my heart when grandmama, uh, when Mother Jones, rather, not grandmama, but Mother Jones left the church in support of her young granddaughter who had gone transgender. And I know many other members are under threat. Their family members are threatening them to leave and to let people love who they want to love. And they've called me a villain and an evil man. Heavenly Father, I, I just want the world to know this may be my last broadcast. I want the world to know this may be my last broadcast that uh, I'm going to keep on preaching your word. And I will not change. I will not be intimidated. But I will stand and receive your blessings for I am indeed your servant. And I pray for all other. I pray for pastors who are standing in churches in denominations where they got powerful members who family members are going LGBTQ and they're standing in their pulpits with massive attacks being leveled against them because they're standing on your anointed word. I say to these pastors, I pray almighty God through the Holy Ghost 
that just be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And in your name, Jesus, we pray and give thanks. Amen and amen.